Welcome back to our tech. In today's video, we review Fable's CleanTech Mini Spin Mop, which does the job of a regular spin mop at half the size. Cloth fiber spin mops have been around for quite some time. They're easy to use and quite practical but they do get messy and are difficult to carry around. I came across Fable Cleantech whom have made spin mops much better, smaller and they clean better with microfiber. So let's see what's on the box. So this is a new 360 mop. It's compact in size, makes use of microfiber, not the conventional cotton based mop. So this is made by a company called Fable. On the other side, they've given the description of how this thing looks. It has a small little bucket and this box is so little, so tiny, just about a feet and a few inches longer than that. So they have such a big mopping stick inside, which is about four, four and a half feet. And that's actually inside this. The mopping board looks squarish, round shape, and the handle seems like it's in three different sections, which you can assemble. So this is supposed to have the rotary cycle clean system and this mop does not have a separate basket. They're throwing in an additional microfiber refill by the way. Turning the box around you'll see that they provide a lot of information as to how to assemble this whole thing. This device is also made in India which is really cool. The instructions are very clear. It's very simple to assemble this mop. Comes with a pre-fitted refill, microfiber refill. And of course they have an additional one which they give you for free. A uh, three-piece handlebar which needs to be assembled. They've also provided some washing instructions. It's slightly different from a regular spin mop as it doesn't use a spinning basket. So that is, that is something unique to this particular mop. So let's go ahead and open this box. And inside there's a small message from the seller. So everything looks neatly packed inside. You can see the handlebars are here, three sections. You can see the bucket below. You have a refill also at the bottom and the mop floor. These things are really small. I mean, each of these sections are just one, one and a half feet, I guess. So that's the, the additional microfiber refill. This alone costs about 500, like I told you. This is a mopping board. You can see that the handle is flexible and it turns around in all directions. Looks like the Velcro is a little offset here. So this uh, this thing is really good quality. The fiber, microfiber here looks of good quality. So you can just rip this off from the mop board and then you can just place it again. In case you want to put this for wash, it's uh, easy to do that. You can just rinse it and then put it in your washing machine. So let's put this, uh, place this nicely on the mop board, but it's built really well. So now here's the bucket. So this thing is really nicely built again. This single bucket system uses less water than a regular spin mop. This cleaning system is different from the regular spin mop as it doesn't have the basket. So this bucket is nice. It's also got a special crevice to drain excess water. So there's a black sticker which shows you how much water you need to fill. And I think it would take about two, two liters or two mugs of water. So this is a section in the center which uh, has a small cleaning brush again, clean your mop. And there's a two level cartridge here which maintains your mop spinning at different heights. We'll come to that a little later. So first things first, let's go ahead and assemble this handlebar. And these grooves are really solid. I mean, it looks like the build quality is top notch. Assuming this is pretty simple, I mean, you just have to put one piece below the other and it's done. So once the handlebar is done, all we need to do is just hit, uh, get the mop head fixed to this. And 
this is a pretty long mopping stick. It's on par with any other regular mopping stick. Pretty big. Okay, your mopping stick and the mop board is ready to use. This bucket, I mean, I just want to keep looking at it. There's so much of attention to detail on this one. The way they printed the logo, it's really nice. This whole thing is finished so well. It shouts out quality. Doesn't feel like a product which is just made for the sake of making another mop stick. It's a really good piece of work. And it looks like it'll last a really long time. It's very sturdy as well. This handle also makes it nice and easy to carry for anyone. And let me show you the mechanism here. So, so this mop will spin at two different levels. So when you uh, get the mopping board inside the bucket, you'll hear a click and it should let you know that it's uh, ready for a spin. There you go. It really looks like it's working fine at the center section. The handlebar of course has a lock to prevent mop board from spinning. Once you unlock it, all you got to do is just unlock the lever and the mop spins free. It's pretty fast and there are two height levels it can spin at. The lower section of course means that if you have a soap solution or a detergent it's going to dip in that and collect that as, as a part of the cleaning uh, process. And then once you want to rinse off the excess water you lift the mop up and it'll spin at a different level. Also during this process there's a small brush on uh, this bucket which will clean off any kind of dirt and that really helps you keep the mop a little cleaner. So it's time for some actual testing here. I filled the bucket with about two mugs of water. And I also want to show you how tall this thing really is. So it's nearly four and a half feet when you fully extend it. That's incredible. And this thing stands on its own. So that's another great thing. I mean, I just like the way this thing sits anywhere you place it. So let's have a closer look. So yeah, the bucket's filled with a little bit of water. So this thing is going to lock in place and you see that I haven't unlocked the handle. So once you release this lever, it can spin freely. So we'll have to assume there's some detergent at the bottom of that. So it only picks up a little bit of water because microfibers don't need a lot of water in it. So once you take it off, you notice that there's another lock. So that's the level you can spin it at to drain that excess water. Let's see how the 360 mop performs. Again, you gotta lock the handle so that it doesn't spin. And it's really comfortable, honestly. It feels really convenient. I don't see any kind of messy uh, mop boards here fluffing over all over the place has a nice feel to it never thought i'll love to clean the floor myself but this is really cool with the right equipment it's just a breeze so let's have a closer look at the bucket this is uh, so easy to lift and move around so if you're looking at something lightweight very ideal for anyone who wants to do this so easy to move around so you get a fair idea of how this can work just remember the two height spin rule. That's the only thing which is important here. So once you spin it at a higher height, it's away from the water. So yeah, remember the two height rule and that can help you use this more efficiently. It's really convenient, this thing. So like I mentioned, there's a closer look of what actually is happening inside. The two spinning levels, right? If you spin it at the bottom, it picks up the solution or the detergent. And if you spin it on top, it's the water which gets dispelled. It dispels the water from the mop. So that specialized groove makes this really different. And you can see that the grooves on one side of the bucket makes it easy to pour off this dirty water or dispose it off in your drains. Really cool this. So no mess here while pouring the water and it drains the water in a very organized manner. Really non-messy.
the cleaning surface on this microfiber is really cool i mean it does a good job of sliding over tiles or any other softer surface it's good reach and it's it's nice i mean it really works as it should And this does a good job, especially in the corners. So let me show you an example. So this is one of the older spin mop technology mops. And this is again a 360 mop, but uh, I found it really cumbersome. And this thing doesn't really go that well in the corner I mean you got to keep moving it and pushing it so that it reaches the corner but when you take this which has got a nice square shape it makes it much easier to reach those corners simple design but very practical So just to compare previous generation spin mop with the uh, round head. So this is the height compare when you keep both of these mops fully extended and they're of the same height. So the one on the right of course was a spot zero from Milton and the height is exactly the same. I also got in another spin mop which is a budget spin mop and I have three of them compared here just showing you the size difference and clearly the spot zero looks well built with a nice wheel onto it but yeah the mini mop really stands out because it's looking way more advanced and look at the size difference much easier to carry around which one do you think looks the best please leave your comments below let's hear from you guys i think the fearable really looks nice i mean it's really handy if you have to do things on your own especially during these tough times and lockdown you don't have house help so it really is easy to use in areas where you can't easily reach with your regular mop. It's not messy. It uh, gets around corners, even low clearance areas like undercourts, which have barely any kind of clearance. This thing has no problem at all. I'm really impressed with this uh, mop. And the best part is once you're done with your job, all you need to do is just uh, give it a nice rinse and then, you know, chuck it into your washing machine and it'll be good to go again. As simple as that. So that's my short review of the Fiable Microfiber Spin Mop. As always, please do subscribe, hit the like button. Let me know if you have any comments in the comments box below. If you want to buy one of these, I've left links in the description below. And once again, I'd like to thank you all for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye.